Albastan is a private institution based in Sharjah. Uh, we opened in 1995 and have been growing since then. We are a conservation breeding centre where we breed in captivity the critically endangered, endangered, vulnerable animals with a goal to release them back into the wild. Today we will be moving two of our greater one horn rhino calves that were born here on Albustan. They will be going on breeding loan to Singapore's night safari. Night Safari is the world's first nocturnal wildlife park which is home to over 900 animals from 100 species. So the international stud bookkeeper of the Greater One Horn Rhino got in contact with us to ask if we were willing to send our two calves to Singapore Night Safari on breeding loan. So they will be there for five years to hopefully increase the genetic diversity of the captive population. This is the first time that we are working with Al Bustan Zoo. This shipment is recommended by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums Species Survival Plan. We are very excited to have these rhinos in Singapore Night Safari to be able to contribute to the conservation of this species. So my name is uh, Christopher Lloyd, I'm a, I'm a veterinarian. I've been um, working for Alberstown for about the last 15 years as their consultant veterinarian. Before shipping, we wanted to, we wanted to make sure that, uh, that, that they were healthy and fit to fly. But we gave them a good check over, check their teeth, check their feet, both areas where you can sometimes have problems with rhinos. And both seem in very good health and fit to fly, in my opinion. Tuli is creating very well, and last night we managed to create him very easily. We're very proud of him. So he's eating carrots and apples in the box and he's ready to go. He was very calm throughout the night. After a couple of checks, he was just resting. This morning, we just gave him oral sedation to keep him calm. and Nawari have created really well. We're so proud of them. Um, it's going to be a long journey ahead. We are on our way to the airport. Once they are loaded on the truck, we'll make our way to Dubai airport and we will travel via freighter and I'll be there to ensure that they are calm and to feed them water and food periodically. Once they land, they will travel to Singapore Night Safari where they will go into quarantine for three months just to make sure they are healthy and safe and then they will go on to exhibit. This is a first for us, it's a first for the Middle East, it's a first even for Emirates, so we're really, really happy that we're able to do this. Um, Usher is a little bit sad, um, but it's natural progression. Nawari is three, almost four, which means you know this is the natural time for him to move off and make his own way. And luckily she won't be alone for too long as she's expecting again in March. 